Okay, my name is Ivy Maina. I was a costume designer um, and assistant director. Uh, my name is Dennis Raj. I was playing the role of Bushman Maju on the film. So, my name is Brian uh, Sikulu, uh, my YouTuber and blogger. So, in the Entangled, I was playing the, 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 the character of a lecturer, a uh, stroke teacher. I also got the chance to shoot uh, some of behind the scenes uh, for the movie Entangled. Uh, my name is uh, Mojin Oreiti, and I was uh, as the assistant director in uh, Makeup in Costume. My name is uh, Istmond Mwenda. I was the director, uh, DOP, uh, that's a uh, camera person, uh, film editor, yeah, producer. My name is Christian Kilonzo Nixon and I was Joe One. Uh, I'm Evans Kiranga and I was Joe Two. <laughs> he was supposed to be my stunt double actually. Uh -huh. He was supposed to be my stunt double well, and the then... Funny th the funny thing is, yeah? <laughs> the dude doesn't know how to drive a black mamba to uh, uh, a uh, black mamba. Who say? Okay, like I know, I know like I, I had like, a really tough time trying to acknowledge the fact that I've never drawn a, uh, tried to ride a, a black mamba or so. But now we had to call a stunt double who ended up taking up my role. <laughs> That is known as emergency brakes, by the way. You should really apply it. My role being, um, first of all, an assistant director, I was to manage the, uh, not manage, help the director manage the whole project from the actors and uh, the schedule. Yeah. Um, also the um, the costume. We had to like help each other. Oh, basically. Uh, Okay, the whole entangled film is like a horror th thriller. So we had to make a back costume, like back, back over tree costume. So that, okay, this character, Bulwark, had to camouflage the tree. So we had to create a whole outfit of him with backs so he can camouflage the trees. Yes, so that was our make -up. Oh, and also um, creating. A warrior like look from one of the actors. Maju, Maju the Bushman, he had to create his outfit and look like uh, an old villager. Guys, what are we You know the scenes surrounding the forest, um, how 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 the, how creative those shots were, the level of times that uh, they were done. You know some of those scenes they were actually shot more than five times, but in the movie they only appear for 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 some seconds. So that that just shows the effort that the entire production team had to go through just to give that perfect moment. So all the scenes surrounding the forest they really stood out for me. I really loved those scenes. My favorite moments, first of all, the paintings. Talk of the paintings from the head, you know, throw the body to the, to the feet. And then also looking at the props, uh, um, I had a shield, you know, a spear. And then there was this uh, dressing, you know, it was short -lived. Um there was this aspect of culture that came out through my character. And also, just by wearing that outfit, taking pictures, it was really awesome for me. And also, I was a light, uh, what do we call me? Mainly comes a light. <laughs> Ouch. 
during during the the, the, the the shooting of the film some scenes you know of the late scary lights yeah for me what what i liked most about the production was the commitment like guys guys were really committed and 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 like you know it's not like we're paying the actors cuz actually it's not that we're not appreciating them the other ways we are appreciating someone without using money but then for this case these guys were really devoted to making this thing happen like someone is sick but they're still willing to go on someone lives far they are willing to come and stay at your place for 3 4 days so that they can actually work and make the thing happen so like my highest moment was just the devotion of the whole cast and crew like that at that that was just a yeah. shout out to my cast and crew <laughs> yeah First of all, day one, we had uh, to recast one of the actors. That was disappointing because we woke up pretty early. Then, um, I think almost, uh, I don't know, on a Saturday, almost to the forest scene. Again, the cast who we had already recasted got sick again, so I don't know, just disappointed. Uh, I remember the time that uh, I was acting, the day that I went for the shoot. Uh, everything was going so well, and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, one of the character got sick, seriously sick. Where you know that abrupt sickness that just comes with pain. That you know, like uh, when something like that happens on set, of course, uh, the best way out is for the producer to try and see if they can still work with the situation because obviously it's uh, replacing a character in a movie is one of the last options that the producer has so uh, the character got extremely sick he could not act again so those are some of my lowest moments during the whole shoot you know as an actor you really have to pull out the 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 the, 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 the real the real character in you and so those the, there are these times I was trying to, 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 for example, say my legs. Then the director was like, "Man, bring out this character, Vizuri. You know, uh, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? You're forbidden from being here. You should not be here. You know, there were tough, tough times, but it was awesome. It was awesome. Yeah. Okay, for me, I will change the issue of falling down in the forest now. That thing took a lot of shots, a lot of takes, I mean, a lot of takes. I fell like 70 times, man. I even had bruises in my legs, man. <laughs> Running the forest, uku. Rather bad. Me, this is when you go around, man. It was really hectic, but it happened. So, during the whole shoot, like, it was... Uh, it was challenging, like, <laughs> it was seriously challenging. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's another way to, to describe it. Because at some point, we actually decided to help with this film, we're not gonna shoot it. Because we started shooting on Wednesday, shot Thursday. Then, Friday, we decided, since there was this hiccup, let's not shoot. Let's see how the actors are on Saturday. Saturday, we still had an issue. Sunday again, we still had an issue. So, weekend, the weekend has just passed and we haven't shot anything. So, the steam was really low, but then we started again the next week on a Monday, and with that, at least we were able to complete it a few days later. So it was too was, was serious, too serious. The Kenyan film industry is taking quite an interesting turn. Uh, people are investing more in the films in terms of. Uh, creativity and resources. So, Entangled is just one of that movie that depicts the, uh, the evolution that's taking place in the, film, in the Kenyan film industry, especially in terms of creativity. Producers going out of their ways just to create that one perfect moment with the highest level of creativity. So, uh, people should actually expect something different, something that the Kenyan film industry is I'll say missing and uh, yeah.
So basically, creativity and something that's out of the Kenyan film industry is what uh, the audience should actually expect from Entangled. Considering like in Kenya, we, okay, they, like the film society haven't like much embraced the thriller and horror films. Like, I wouldn't say there are, there are many of them being produced. Considering this is one of the few, they, should, they will be amazed. Like it's just good work. With the same, with the same spirit, with the same people, and working with the same director who is okay, like who is visionary. Yeah, we'll keep on, we'll keep on going better. We need coming better and better. Get ready to be surprised. Like that was epic. Yes. Yeah. From the from the behind the scenes to the movie itself to the hospital beds, they were all like. <laughs> I should expect a roller coaster of emotions, man. Apparently, it's a thriller, man. Mm -hmm. the, the thing, okay, the the emotions and the work you put in that film was, yeah, it took a lot of us. It took a lot from us because if, one, it, if it was not for that film, maybe sing it away for us, you know. Exactly. But, so, yeah. Okay, expect something, yeah, and it's part of us, man. It's emotional, it's part of us. I know something. The film, we thank the film for one fact that it showed us a part of our life that we never knew. True. Like, it gave us light before anything else happened to us. So, the film was really, in some kind of way, in its own designated way, a savior. Yeah, it was a savior. Because, me, if, okay, if, we, if it was not for the director, singer, let me not lie to you. Like You're painting, you end even. Okay, if you go to my place, you can go to your doing. You can do mimi, pain, mimi, the pain killers, pain, you can do it. Same thing. But the director helped me out. I mean, I like I do, I didn't spend that. I can do more to a big medical facility. So, so far, only the trailer has been released. You can find it on YouTube. Uh, I posted it on my channel, East Mount Manda. But, um, in terms of expectations, like I, I feel, I feel be, be, it, it, it being my first thriller action film, I'd give it about an, an eight. But that's for me to know and for you to decide. So the film itself is gonna be released uh, soon. Let's just say soon. Uh, you will know when it's coming out. But yeah, it's a good film. It's a good film. Stay tuned. about this morning. You look very beautiful, by the way. No autographs. I'm singing them by the way, man. So, it's tricky. Just see, it's to push the two men on the camera. It's easy. 